Governor Mike DeWine is also weighing in on next steps when it comes to finding a new president for The Ohio State University. So NBC 4's Karina Chung is working this part of the story for us. Karina obviously uh, talked to the governor. Mm -hmm. How does this impact the future of Ohio even? Well, this impacts all of Ohio, no matter where you live here in the state. The governor says Ohio State University impacts us all. He says he's had a good working relationship with Dr. Christina Johnson on projects like Intel. Again, that benefits the entire state. With Dr. Christina Johnson stepping down at The Ohio State University, Governor Mike DeWine says the university needs to move forward. I think we need to look to the future, and the future is that the Board of Trustees has to do the most important thing any board does, and that is to pick a president. The governor is charged with appointing members on the Ohio State University Board of Trustees. Governor DeWine has appointed nine members of the current board. NBC4 has reached out to several Board of Trustees members since Dr. Johnson announced she would step down as president. None of them have returned our calls. DeWine says whoever becomes the 17th president of the university will hold an extremely important role, leading OSU's research efforts in providing a quality education for tens of thousands of students. You know, I don't have a candidate, uh, but I think it needs to be someone, uh, you know, who understands the importance of Ohio State, uh, the importance of Ohio State to all 88 counties, no matter where you live in the state of Ohio, whether you've had a child go to Ohio State or whether you've been to Ohio State, it doesn't really matter. Ohio State has a huge impact on, on this state. I did reach out to the university to see if it could share more about the search for a new president. I was told details about a search will be shared in early 2023. I also asked how much the university spent on its search for a president when Dr. Johnson was hired and who footed the bill, students or private donors. I am still waiting for an answer on that. Jen? Hmm, interesting. Karina, thank you.